Welcome back to Heavyweight Camping, guys. It's been a little bit since I've uh, made a video, but, you know, been busy working and taking care of the family, and uh, it's been too hot to camp anyway, but it's finally been beautiful. We are down here at Natchez Trace uh, at the Cub Lake campsites. This is camps ground, uh, sorry, campground two, and we're on campsite number 11. Here is our amazingly beautiful site. There it is, campsite number 11. As you can see, it's pretty well spread out here. It's nice and in the trees. Thought I'd just give you a quick little camp tour. There's the little one. There's heavyweight camping daughter and mama. We've got our picnic table. We've got what we have come to affectionately call our poop tent there in the back. That's got my uh, wife's bedside commode there that we use. If we're a little too far away from the bathhouse. Got the hammock rolling. Somebody built this really cool little fire border here on the back side. Really enjoyed that last night. Came in uh, kind of late yesterday, about 5 o'clock. And uh, I was going to do a video of me setting up the tent. I wanted to do a full you know set up on that but man it was late and I was shot and I was just trying to get everything done this is one of those expandable canopies it was 10 by 20 but uh, it broke so we salvaged what we could and made it a 10 by 10 but the other top is still functional so we kind of use that as a catch-all for the front of the tent here this is the Coleman Tanaya Lake Fast Pitch. It's not a quick up. There's a difference. This has a hub in the center that ties into the middle of the top of the tent. It's got the D door that I have uh, really come to enjoy on this tent. It's got a tent pole that goes down and around. And I'll show you here. You can just open it up. And it shuts itself. But the fast pitch ties into the center of the, the top of the tent. And it's got a hub that uh, all the poles are attached to by the you know traditional elastic. They slide into that little hub. And uh, then you put all your corners in. I'll show you a corner here. The corners are attached to the tent. Not permanently, but kind of permanently. And then they all go up to that hub there. I know this would have been better if I hadn't had the whole thing set up already, but I've got the rain fly on it. A lot of people when it's warmer don't use their rain fly, but I don't know. I like the way the tent looks better with it on it. Well, she wants me to show you my new bike. Got a little cheap bike from Walmart so I could ride around with her. There's my battery for my battery tender 750 watt inverter that runs our little fan at night. Do a little walk around this side here. It's a really big tent. The, the big thing about this tent for me was the fact that it was tall, the sides were straight, and it was something that my wife could get in and out of without falling or tripping, uh, which was an important thing as uh, if anybody's watched any of my previous videos here knows that my wife is a stroke victim. And uh, it's difficult for her to bend down and pick up and then jump, like, sidestep into things. So it was tough to find a tent that would allow us to have the freedom to go tent camping uh, at, with the affordability of tent camping, uh, but also make it safe for her. This was the best thing I could find, and it was a really reasonable price. I think I paid about $160 for it. Um... I think it was 168 plus tax, and uh, I think we got it through Walmart. I've seen them for more, I've seen them for less, but you know, I felt like it was a good deal. But that was one of the big things about that D door that we really liked. Let's walk around here, I'll show the inside. A little kiddo dancing. It just allowed her to have the ability to come in and out uninhibited. And safely in that way if she has to get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom she's able to do that got her a cot 
And I did a review of the uh, Zoo Believes uh, inflatable air mattress here. And that's what I've got on there for her. You can see that. This is the... Uh, oh gosh, I can't think of it. What is it called? I don't remember. Slumberjack. This is the Slumberjack cot. These things are crazy heavy. Crazy heavy. There you can see it's got a little spot up at the top to uh, put some lanterns. I like these. I did a review on these two. These are on the channel if you want to check them out. Um, they are really neat. They're just unique. I, I really like them. Um, the closet feature on this was really not something I cared about, but it was either this or like two little cubby holes that you put your heads in. Uh, so I went with this, which it's it's useful, keeps some stuff out of the way. Uh, one of the big things I liked about the tent also is that the windows roll down, and you roll them up, and then they've got these little toggles that will hold the window in place. The other big factor for me about this tent was the fact that it is a tubbed bottom. And there may be other brands that have a tubbed bottom, but most of them don't come up this high. Um, and if they have a tubbed bottom, they don't say so. So that was another really big deciding factor for me with this tent. I wanted something that I knew was going to withstand getting wet. Um, you know, living in West Tennessee, it could be sunny and then rain the next 10 minutes. And that's one of those things that we've learned about living here. So anyway, guys, that is the Tenaya Lake by Coleman fast pitch it's an eight person tent it's considered a cabin style tent finally got the review out we just haven't been camping in a while but uh we're out this weekend having a good time and i thought i would give you guys a show around of the tent thanks again for stopping by don't forget to like and subscribe guys if you're watching on uh, instagram please go over to youtube and check out my channel and show me some love over there i'd really appreciate it thanks again Y'all have a good day.